Welcome to your yin practice. In today's practice, we're going to be focusing on the kidney and the bladder meridians or channels. So we're going to be really focusing on pulling and stimulating our bladder channel and then pulling and contracting our kidney channel. And what this means is our sequence will be relatively easy. So if you are a beginner, this is perfect for you. And the poses that we'll be exploring, there's going to be a lot of forward folds. So we're going to really get into that whole back chain of the body, all the way from the backs of the legs, that giant fascial sheet that comes behind the legs, the thighs, the hips, the back, all the way through the back of the head into the eyebrow. For today's practice, you will need a bolster. If you don't have a bolster at home, you can also use pillows or a foam roller works well as, as well, uh, as well as two blocks. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like and subscribe the video and leave me a comment down below for any videos you would like to see in the future. To get started for today's practice, we're going to start in a seated position. Feel free to sit on a cushion, placing it just under your bum if that's a little bit more comfortable for you. And once you've arrived in your seat, just become nice and still. And just feel your spine stack one vertebrae at a time on top of each other. Feel the shoulders stack directly over your hips. And if you haven't already, close down the windows of your eyes. Relax the muscles of your jaw. Soften through your brow bone. And start to become aware of the sensations in your body, your breath, your heartbeat, any muscle contraction, any inner dialogue that's happening between the ears. And start to hone in your energy, your awareness to your breath. Notice your breath move in and out of you. And with every inhale, feel your belly and chest expand. And with every exhale, feel your chest and belly deflate. And just spend the next few moments really focusing on your breath, the quality of your breath, the length of every inhale, of every exhale. And as we do this energetic work within the asana, our poses, there's a good opportunity to dissolve anything you may have been worrying about lately. Particularly if you've had any fears pop up around anything. Your finances, your career, the evolution of friendships, the changing of romantic relationships, family members. Whatever it might be, And just take a moment to tune into your energetic field and note any kind of worry or fear that you would really like to just give up. And having said that together, let's all take a long breath in through the nose. 
Ah, nice sigh it out. We'll start to wake up the body very slowly, very mindfully. We'll start by wiggling the fingers and the toes. Shrug the shoulders up towards the ears. And then drop them down even further away from the ears. Slowly begin to open up the windows of your eyes. And for our first pose, we're going to actually come up to standing. So I will meet you there. Once you've arrived, place your feet directly under your hips, about hip distance apart. And just feel yourself grow a little bit taller. Arms rest by your sides. And close your eyes and just feel the sensation of your feet on the floor. Start to shift your weight forward and back. Yeah, as you travel forward, feel your toes grip into the floor to keep you from falling forward. And then notice how your body fights to keep you from falling back. If you can't quite do this with your eyes closed, just keep a slight gaze of the eyes open. And then just begin to lean forward. And you want to think of shifting most of your weight into the big toe and the second toe. Yeah, right in between those toes is the beginning of the channel of our kidney. So by stimulating this area, we're just really allowing those meridians to open up for our body. Last breath here. And then slowly come back to a neutral position. And then from here, just start to drop your chin down towards your chest, curl the spine down, allow the head, the arms to be heavy. Slight bend in the knees as you hinge from the hips, lowering all the way down towards the floor. Coming into this forward fold shape, now, if your hands don't quite touch the ground, feel free to bring blocks underneath them to support you. You can also bring your hands to your shins to feel a little bit more elevated in this forward fold. Yeah, and keep as much of a bend as you need here in the knees just to allow the belly to be resting on top of the thighs. And then start to curl the spine up vertebrae by vertebrae as we unwind ourselves back to a standing position. So the head, the arms will be heavy as you slowly curl the body all the way up to standing. Take a long breath in. And exhale, chin to chest, start to curl the spine down back to our forward fold. Take as much time as you need. Once you've arrived, take a few breaths here. And then begin to unravel as you come back up to standing. Yeah, think of pushing down into those feet. Send those hips forward. As you come up to standing. We'll do that one more time. And this time we're going to stay in that forward fold. 
take a long breath in and then exhale as you start to roll all the way down. And what we're doing here is we're waking up that giant sheet for the whole back chain of the body that runs to the backs of the legs, the thighs, that thick part of the low back, all the way up through the back of the neck, up and around the head to the eyebrow. It's almost like a warm up for our forward fold shapes. Once you find your shape, just stay as you are. is in this pose around that two minute mark that our muscles start to weaken they start to tire of holding ourselves in this position but there's that beautiful sensation of letting go that happens Just preparing our body to come out of this shape shortly. Take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale it out through the nose. Place your hands on the ground. Start to bend your knees a lot. As you lower the hips down, the heels will start to lift. Walk your hands even more forward so your knees come down towards the mat. And keep your toes tucked in here. Feeling that sensation in through the feet. Oh, that feels good after wearing shoes all day. Maybe you've been doing a lot of walking. Last breath here. And then shift your weight forward, untuck your toes, cross at the ankles to roll over your shins and come into a seat. Keep the soles of the feet flat on your mat, knees pointed up towards the ceiling. Bring your hands behind you and just lean back for a moment. Feel that rush of blood fill your body back up as we're slowly bringing our body back to neutral from that long inversion.
Now for our next shape, we are going to find a reclined fish slash butterfly pose. So I'm going to invite you to use a, your pillow or your bolster for this one. And I'll give a few different options for this pose and you can find what works best for you. So option one, bring your bolster, the small part of your bolster to your low back. And then simply start to lower your back onto that bolster from here. For me, this causes a lot of low back tension. So I like to scooch it just a little bit further away and then lower down onto my back. Another option here is using your bolster and taking it so that it's parallel to the top of your mat or bottom, however you want to look at it. And then as you start to lower down, you want to think of lowering your mid-back shoulder blade area onto, onto the bolster. Once you do that, you can allow the head to completely drop back. If that's really uncomfortable for you, then just take a block and place it underneath your head. For me, this, this is good here, so I'm going to stay here. And then bring the soles of the feet together and allow your knees to open up like a book. Feel free to bring blocks or cushions underneath the thighs. And the arms can rest open up into a T shape if you really want that expansion across the chest or bring your hands to your belly. <sighs> Just settle into this pose. Feel that opening across your chest. really reversing that forward fold movement that we just did. And each yin pose is really just an opportunity to crawl into ourselves. To come to our feelings or to get to know ourselves. Observing the sensations of the body, the fluctuations of the mind. Acknowledging any feelings that may arise, but without trying to label them. Or to put any reason behind them in any way. Drink a long breath in through the body. And exhale to let it go. Sweet. 
preparing to come out of the shape. We'll start by bringing our hands to the outers of your legs and just close your legs up like a book. Yeah, soles of the feet will come flat on your mat. And then just start to roll over to one side. It doesn't matter which one. So you come up to a seated position. Ah, and just take the moment to move the, your props off to the side. Hands behind you, feet flat, knees pointed up towards the sky. Ah, and just take a moment to breathe here. As you exhale, drop your chin down towards your chest and think of rounding the spine. And then inhale as you come back up to a neutral position. For our next shape, start to extend the right leg straight out in front of you. And then draw that left, the heel of the left foot close to your pelvis, and then allow that knee to drop open, bringing the sole of that foot to the inside of the, your straight leg. Now you can keep your leg forward or just slightly off to the side, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Now we're going to be folding over the straight leg. I personally like to use a bolster for this. If you have any low back problems, bring it nice and close into the belly. And think of folding over that bolster. Or you can place the bolster or cushion lengthwise and simply just fold forward, resting your head maybe onto the bolster, onto your hands. Allow your hands to rest wherever they like. If you need a little bit higher support, feel free to utilize your blocks as well. So I'll let you come into whatever shape feels best for this pose. You see if you can release any muscles that want to keep holding on. So the leg that's straight, really try to relax the hip flexors, the front of those hips. Letting go of that habit to flex the toes towards your face and allow the leg to just be and allow it to fall whichever way it wants to. And starting to know that we're coming out of this shape in a moment. Bring your hands onto the ground. 
Just press the floor away as you walk your shoulders back over your hips. Remove your props just off to the side. Using your hands, we'll just bend our knee. And then bring both of the feet flat on your mat. And just start to curl all the way down to rest our back uh, on the ground. And then from here, extend the legs, just a rebound shape from that pose. Bring your hands onto the front of those hip creases. And just notice the difference between the left and the right side. Notice if there's a little bit of heat coming from that right leg. Now we're going to start to make our way back to seated. And to do so, we'll start by bending the knees, bringing the soles of the feet onto our mat. And then from here, just a slight lift of the hips as we bring our hands underneath our bum. So the palms are facing towards the floor. Start to draw your knees in towards your chest and then feet up towards the ceiling. So we're coming into this L shape. And then just a slight tuck of the chin, engage the core and moving as one unit. As you drop the legs, the upper body will lift into a seat. And then from here, we'll move into the next side. So start to bring a bend into that right leg and then open up that knee off to the side. Our left leg is straight. Feel free to keep it straight in front of you or just slightly off to the side, whatever feels better. And then option to use cushion, your blocks or your bolster. And we'll come to find that forward fold shape on this side. And once you arrived in your shape, just come back to your breath. Remember in each shape in yin, we want to try to come into each shape until that first place of resistance. And with our forward folds, the resistance can be in our hamstrings. Maybe it's the backs of our knees. Maybe it's even our low back or somewhere on that chain. And just take one last breath here. Bring the palms of your hands onto the mat. 
and start to walk yourself all the way up, uncurling yourself from your forward fold. Remove your prop off to the side and then just with your hands, just pull onto that knee so you can bend that knee. Bend both knees, soles of the feet flat, and we'll just start to curl all the way down, curl our, our spine back down onto the mat. Ha. Extend the legs long just to find our rebound shape from this pose. Again, bringing the hands onto the front of our hips. And coming back into your breath, back into the body. I'm just doing a body scan here. Just notice if there's anywhere that you may be holding on. Maybe take a nice yawn, opening the mouth and stretching out the jaw. And softening through your brow bone. Think of unclenching the muscles in the ears. And we'll slowly start to make our way out of this shape. Start by bringing a bend into your knees. And then with a gentle lift of the hips, slide your hands under your bum. Lift the knees towards the chest and then toes up towards the ceiling. Tuck your chin down towards your chest, engage the core. And just with a little momentum with the legs, we'll start to lower the legs. At the same time, we lift the upper body as well. And just remove the hands from underneath you. We're actually going to keep the legs straight out in front of us for our caterpillar pose. And for this one, again, feel free to sit your bum on a cushion if you feel like you're really starting to fall back. You can also slide a little blanket underneath the knees just to, just to bring a little bit of a bend into the knees. So if you think about that forward fold shape that we did at the beginning of class where we were standing, your body's going to find that same shape seated as well. And then feel free to take a cushion, maybe some blocks. Again, with the bolster, I like to keep it just tucked in nicely towards my belly. And this just helps protect my low back. And then I can start to shift my weight forward. And then I'll use my hands to rest my head on. Sometimes I like to just bring my hands underneath my knees. That feels nice too, just to keep that slight bend in the knee. And just wherever you are, just can you soften a little bit more? Release those hip flexors. Allow the legs to flop away from another.
last couple of breaths here. And start to unravel yourself, walking the hands maybe onto the floor, onto your legs. So you lift your upper body all the way back up. Remove your bolster off to the side, hands behind you. And just stay here for a moment. And bring a bend into your knees. Shift your bum up towards the top of your mat and just hold on to the knees or the shins. And start to round the spine, hollowing out through that belly. Start to engage the core. Maybe you lift your hands away and then start to curl the spine down lowering all the way onto the floor. Ha. We're going to stay here for the rest of the practice. Now from here, start to cross your right leg over your left. So you're really squeezing and hugging those thighs in towards each other. Open your arms up into a T so they come in line with the shoulders in a nice straight line. And then start to lift your knees towards your chest and then lower your knees down to the left side of your mat. If you start to lower the knees down and that right shoulder starts to lift or you start to feel an un unpleasant sensation in the low back, bring your legs to be supported on top of a cushion or a block. And for a deeper twist, maybe you look over towards the right fingertips. Let's return back to your breath. As we are finding our twists, we're really balancing and harmonizing our body back to its neutral state after finding all these forward fold shapes. Just neutralizing the spine. Start to come back to center, starting with your nose pointing up towards the ceiling and then 
It's a slight engagement of the core as you bring your knees back to center and then lowering the soles of your feet down to your mat. Heel toe your feet out a little bit wider than your hips and allow the knees to come in towards each other. And stay here for just a moment. Again, feeling what's happening in the body. Feeling any heat or tingling sensations. Heel toe, heel toe, the feet back to hip distance apart. And we'll find that same shape on the other side. This time our left leg will cross over the right. Squeezing our thighs together, draw the knees in towards our chest, arms are out into a T. And then lower your knees down towards the right side of your mat this time. And again, utilizing any props, maybe a cushion or your blocks underneath the legs. And if you are, please make sure you're supporting from the knee all the way down to the ankle. You can stay here or take your gaze over towards the left. Last breath here. Bring your nose back to center. Engage the core, draw the knees up towards the ceiling and then plant the soles of the feet down, uncross the legs. Just to stay for a moment here, feet apart, knees together. This time, bringing your hands onto your hips, right where your hip bones are. And just feeling this balancing of the body. Start to draw the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself one hug. Yeah, wrap your arms around your shins or behind the thighs and just hug your knees in nice and tight. And this is a gentle, happy baby to end the class. Bring your hands to the backs of the thighs. Draw your knees apart. And just allow the feet to dangle. And think of 
your knees and the weight of your hands on your legs and it's pulling your knees down towards the floor. Take a long breath in here. And exhale, ha, release your feet down towards the floor. Extend your legs long on your mat. Let's set up for Shavasana. Bring your hands by your sides, close down the eyes. Just feel your body start to melt into your mat. Feel the muscles drip away from your bones. And coming back to your breath. Noticing how your breath moves in and out of you. We'll just stay in our Shavasana for a few moments and then I will guide you back. As you breathe in and out through the nose, start to feel the temperature in the room. Feel the temperature of the air against your skin. Noticing your whole body, your muscles, your bones, your breath, your heartbeat. Noticing that inner dialogue creeping back between the ears. And just start to become aware of the environment around you. Please feel free to stay in Shavasana as long as you like, as long as you need. There is no rush to get up. I'll just say thank you for taking the time out of your day for practicing with me, for honoring your breath and your body for wherever it is in your practice. May the light in me honor and cherish the light that is in you. Namaste.